Hiya, Chris. Well, after all these years, we're finally working together. Uh, actually, after spending a year and a half in Vietnam, I feel like we're already good friends. Uh, your posters grace the studios of AFEN, where I used to yell, Good morning, Vietnam. Of course, we had your posters up because we appreciated all you did for our troops, and we really liked the, the graphic design and the color schemes of the posters. And we thought you had a wonderful sense of fashion and style, especially in your choice of, of, of swimwear. Uh, but putting aside your legendary figure for a moment, uh, you really were a legendary figure to countless thousands of servicemen in Vietnam. You gave so much of your time and energy at a time when not a lot of Hollywood types were willing to do so. And of course, there were prices you paid for all that dedication. And the stories of how you overcame those challenges are moving and inspiring. Back in the late 60s, when I was queuing up your radio program, I never dreamed that 40 years later I'd have the chance to uh, send along this kind of congratulatory greeting to you. I'm so thrilled that you're receiving this award tonight. It's richly deserved. And again, I'm so happy to be a small part of this event, even though my obligations here in Hollywood wouldn't allow me to attend in person. I really wanted to be there, not only to congratulate you in person, but to finally get my poster autograph. You know, the one with the pretty colors and the nice graphic design and the uh, a bikini. Congratulations, Chris. Thanks again for all you've done.